Welcome to Chat Pion. We have just updated the user input flow and custom field add on of Chat Pion. Now, we will be able to create the user input flow and custom field by using the Visual Flow Builder. Today, in this video, we will see how to create a user input flow and custom field by using the Visual Flow Builder. First, let's go to the Visual Flow Builder. Then, click on the Create New Flow. Select the Facebook page for which we will create the user input flow and custom field. Give a name for the bot. We can use both the trigger and an action button to start the bot. Put keywords on the trigger and select the get the started button on the action button. For the first bot reply, I am just using a text reply, you can add anything you want. And then, I will add the user input flow from the dock menu and connect it. Let's configure the user input flow. We can use previously created user input flow or we can create a new one. To create a new one, select add new input flow. And then give a name for the user input flow. Let's configure the first question. We can create two types of questions, one is free keyboard input and the other one is multiple choice. I am selecting the free keyboard input type. Write the questions here. Select the reply type. We will store this answer on a custom field variable. Let's add a new custom field. Now, select the custom field. Let's take another question and connect it. On the question, we can use the previous answers by using the variables. Click on the custom and select the variable which we want to use. Here I am using the gender variable. Select the reply type. Let's create another custom field to save the age. Click on the add new. Give a name for the custom field and select the reply type and then save it. Now, select the custom field from the drop-down list. Let's add another question. Here we will use multiple choice questions. Now, we will add a final question to get the user's email. We can also use the quick reply for answers. We will save this answer to the system field. To end the user input flow we must use a new post back. And then add any kind of bot reply with the post back. Now, let's check the user input flow and custom field. Yes, the user input flow is working. Also, the custom variable we used on a question is working just perfectly. This is how we can create a user input flow and custom field by using the Visual Flow Builder. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.